YouTubes, we got something pretty cool for you here today. Uh, it's a continuation of Radio 5 Road King's video building a real air cannon. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put the link down in the description. You can go watch that before you watch this. So go ahead and do that now. But anyway, well, I'm just doing a little update for you. Uh, I'm, I, I, I don't like doing updates. They, they annoy me, but I'll show you what I'll show you what we're doing. I'm not entirely sure uh, where we were last time you saw this. It wasn't this far. Um, I think we did have this uh, frame, the angle iron frame right here. I think we had that started. And we had th that there tacked like it still is. Actually, that's permanently welded now and bolted. But what I don't think you've seen yet is these braces here that we've made. And uh, they're real simple. Basically, we take a square piece of metal just like that uh, we draw the line to match close with these flanges right here and then we cut them with the cutting torch uh, that's that, that part's fairly easy then the harder part is drawing the holes because as you can see those holes are pretty big so to draw a bit hole like that through a I guess that's eighth inch steel. It takes some time. Now, if you do it right, you can get all four holes done in 20 minutes, but that's still a lot of drilling. Um, I think last you saw this, the uh, reducer here was not yet uh, finished welding. Actually, I don't think it was even welded together. Uh, we've started to weld. It's just tacked right there, but this we're starting to weld permanently. Uh, it's not the best weld job, but this part isn't where it's, there's going to be any serious pressure. The pressure is all behind the valve right there. And uh, it's bolted now. I think, yeah, you can see in there. So, when you take the valve and turn it like that, it opens. If you look in there, it opens. Pretty cool, huh? They call that a butterfly valve. Now on the expensive air cannons, they'll hook they'll hook up a whole hydraulic system to that, to uh, you know to get it to launch, and so it's real quick. You just turn a little lever valve, and that t sets the hydraulic fluid to open that valve so fast you couldn't do it that fast yourself. But this uh, just to keep costs low, we're just gonna rig up a garage door spring, so it'll be closed like this. Uh, what we'll have to do is modify this so that the handles out here when it's closed hook the garage door spring just bolt it and hook it up back there and so when we let it go it'll just yank the lever back pretty fast we're hoping you can get um you can see we got these they're not done yet but we got those bolted up the uh i'm trying to think dad what's that piece of metal on right there called transition piece is uh, welded up uh, it wasn't perfectly straight but we turned it so that the uh, angle of everything else lines it up so it's just about straight next we have to do is cut this plate to support it under here that's the final support we need the pattern, like that and the uh, pattern, bolt pattern Kind of like, yeah, uh, I'll show you. I had to get my template out. Make a template. Fit it onto this one. Get up there, measure it up, cut it out. Cut it out, drill it. Then that'll cut, carry all that weight. So I have the three pieces carrying the weight. So, another uh, day of cutting this and we should be good. <laughs> 